Hiya, welcome back to the Waterstones vlog, it's Innie here, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm really excited to talk about this book because it's one of my favourite books I've read this year and possibly ever. And I read it back in April and I've had to stay quite quiet about it and I've been given special permission to talk about it today because it's not actually out until November the 5th. So this will also be a spoiler free review, so I won't ruin it for anyone, I just want to talk about why I loved it so much and why you should be excited for it. So if you remember back to my first video for Waterstones, I talked about one of my favourite books, which was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And I kind of briefly mentioned that she was finally bringing something out after seven or eight years, and that book is the book I'm talking about today. And that book is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. And your copy will look very different to this, because this is my advanced reading copy. And if you haven't seen the Waterstones exclusive, please go check it out because it's one of the most beautiful books I have ever seen. They've done so well with it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I've already ordered my own copy to have on my shelf because, yeah, it's so beautiful. Just kind of like the contents of this book. This book is very much a book for book lovers. So if you're a bibliophile, a book nerd or whatever, you will adore this book. It's about the power of stories and the way they connect us. So it follows the main character, Zachary Ezra Rawlins, who is a game student, who also classes himself as a Ravenclaw, he's a bit of a book nerd, and he's spending time in the library when he finds this very old book, where it probably shouldn't be, so he pulls it out to look at it, he's kind of intrigued, and whilst he's skimming the pages about pirates and love stories and fate and time, he finds a little chapter that he recognises a bit too much, and that's because it is a story from his childhood about him. And he kind of takes the clues that he can find, which is a bee, a sword, well, that's a sword, and a key. And he ends up in New York at this masquerade ball, where he meets some people who lead him into this other world of this library. And from there, I don't want to spoil any more, but it's a magical adventure. It's full of stories and books, and the way she's actually structured this is almost like little stories, connecting stories. It's really clever and very Morganstone. It's just intelligently beautiful and it kind of emphasizes this power of storytelling and the stories that she's writing are just gorgeous and I know I say gorgeous a lot but this book is really gorgeous it's probably one of the most gorgeous books I've ever read it's absolutely stunning and the way she brings the characters in and the way she does character building in this is just marvelous it's very much like the night circus you will fall in love with the characters there is so much depth to them and so much secrecy to them which unfolds through the story and just leaves you guessing like every time she brought in something new I was totally shocked I had no way of guessing that was going to happen and yet yeah, it's just so beautiful and visceral and emotional and evocative and it'll just transport you to this library to this story and all the stories within it are just really clever and you can see inspiration from some brilliant fables from everyone knows to games such as Dragon Age Inquisition which is one of my favourite games by the way so that was pretty exciting to see and yeah it's just a story that celebrates stories and it's so beautiful and I really do recommend it to everyone because there will be something for everyone in it it's got mystery it's got romance it's got fantasy, it's got some literary elements to it, so if you love reading then you will probably love this book because it's just absolutely stunning and beautiful and yeah gorgeous. So I hope you enjoy reading it, please let me know what you think about it when you do read it because I'm really interested to hear what everyone else thinks and I've posted a full review on waterstones.com if you wanted to know a bit more, it's still spoiler free. But I've pretty much read this and fangirled about it for ages and my review kind of reflects that so yeah I hope you enjoy reading it and if you haven't read The Night Circus you don't need to read it first but I recommend you read it at some point because it's also amazing. I think Erin Morgenstern is just one of those writers that just brings out brilliant books. I mean I wish it didn't take seven years but it was definitely worth the wait so thank you Erin Morgenstern and I'll see everyone next time.